morning ma'am good morning can i have your resume yeah ma'am okay sri lanka can you introduce yourself yeah ma'am myself dharmapuri sri lanka i am from khammam i have completed my graduation in vijay engineering college in the stream of computer science and engineering uh, with an aggregate of 7.6 cgpa and coming to my intermediate i have completed my intermediate in krishnaveni junior college in kotagudam i have completed my schooling in taikulpalli in government high school with 9 cgpa and coming to my skills i am fond of c and java programming languages and i also learn python programming language and i also have some academic uh, knowledge on uh, html css and javascript and also i am aware of data structures and algorithms uh, coming to my academic projects i have done uh, a project called crypto cloud plus a secure and expressive data access control for cloud storage thank you ma'am okay now i am a, i am asking some technical questions on java right? sure ma'am what is meant by object oriented programming language object oriented programming language is nothing but which follows the four principal concepts which are polymorphism encapsulation abstraction and inheritance these okay. are the four principal concept of oops okay why is java not not 100% object oriented language uh because we can also we can also perform the program without creating object that's why java is not 100% pro, uh, object oriented okay why java is platform independent because in java uh, we can execute the programs in any other operating system by carrying the byte file to other operating systems such as windows linux ubuntu etc okay why is java call as dynamic because in java we can load the classes from other other classes also we can uh, we can load the methods from other classes and also we can use the uh, methods in the native programming languages such as c and c++ okay difference between while and do while uh, while loop is used for uh, checking the condition at the entry level while is nothing but entry level checking and loop and do while is exit level checking condition okay what is encapsulation encapsulation is nothing but uh, the combination of variables and uh, methods and uh, the mechanism of uh, binding the variables and methods into single unit is called encapsulation okay what is call by value call by value means uh, passing value through method is called call by value good what is call by reference uh, calling a method by passing a reference is called as call by reference okay what is inheritance inheritance means acquiring the uh, properties from one class to other class is called inheritance okay what is polymorphism polymorphism is a concept in which Uh, a particular operation uh, can exhibit different behavior in different situations why java does not support mul- multiple inheritance yeah ma'am java does not support multiple inheritance because uh, in it there is a ambiguous situation which is uh, uh, two parent ca- classes are creating one child class uh, child class is going to confuse which method have to execute first okay what is method overloading method overloading means uh, <clears throat> uh, in a class we can have any number of methods but the method name should be same and uh, it should be different in the parameters in terms of uh, number of parameters or the data type of the parameters or the sequence of the parameters okay what is method overriding method overriding me- overriding means uh, redefining the functionality of the uh, method in the parent class in child class okay what is the use of super keyword <coughs> super keyword is a reference variable which is used to refer the immediate parent class okay sri lanka we will get back to you thank you ma'am